Welcome back everybody. Today we are going to get all these bolts out of here, or attempt to. I already have the air compressor out to clean around these. We'll just kind of lightly blow all the dirt and debris out from around here. So I know everyone's probably worried about all the dust and that's getting blown around. Just keep in mind, this entire machine is coming completely apart and everything's got to get cleaned yet. I'm really not too worried about getting a little extra dust and dirt into compartments that are already more than filled with rust and dirt. Just to kind of show you guys what we're looking at here as far as some of these bolt heads. There's just not a lot left of them where the dirt had sat around and was able to corrode these heads away. So some of these may end up just getting ground off. We'll try welding something to them. Otherwise I'll grind them off. We'll pull this top cover and then I can grab what's left. But a lot of these aren't coming out too bad. We have a bin full already and we still have a few to go. Well, these front two here, they both are a bolt and a nut. It's not just a bolt into the threaded casting. So I don't feel bad about sacrificing them. There's, there's nothing left of them to begin with. So we're just going to cut the heads off of these and be done with them. So I'm trying not to gouge into the casting here. If you look up in these, or this one might be a better example, there's just a small recess that like a lock washer would fit in. Someone has been in here before. These two did not have anything up on top. And I just want to keep from blowing that recess apart or making that casting ugly. So I'm just kind of taking my time as I cut them. Uh, you can always come in with a grinder and kind of flush them out. And then once there's barely any material left, we'll just punch them through. With both of those ground down, I feel just take a hammer and a punch. See how it'll just peel that outer ring clean off of there. All right, guys, it took a little bit of time, but we did get every bolt out, and it is loose. We've got it to pop up a little bit. So we got the chains, cherry picker hooked up. See if we can get it off here. Yeah, I'll stop right here and make sure everything's coming up straight.
Well, we'll start here at the back of the cover. And all these compartments that are dry definitely show a lot of moisture content over the years. But transmission actually does not look too bad. That stuff should come apart fairly easily. You can see the clutch lever here where we disconnected that pin. Alright, not to keep you guys in suspense any longer. We'll start at the back here. I've kind of already seen this. We know kind of what we're getting into there, just looking through the inspection covers. But this, that looks absolutely amazing. Rails look good, gears look good. Very, very minute condensation rust. All that will clean up, no problem. Moving forward to the clutch compartment, that's a different story. Nice little mouse nest there. Not sure if that disc is gonna wanna come out of there. That spider looks rather rusted, closed. I assume, yes, nothing moves. So, we got the cover off. We're gonna keep tearing in. We're gonna come into this back end here. Start pulling all these bolts out. See if we can get these brake bands off. Try and get all this loosened up. But, thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for the next one. Just one added bonus. Them four bolts we had to cut in the back. All came out. See you guys next time.